Hello and welcome back to another short video tutorial on Corel's Video Studio Pro X3. Today I'd like to show you how to use the audio filters. Audio filters available in the advanced edit portion of Video Studio can serve two purposes. They can be used to improve the quality of poorly recorded audio clips or to add special effects. Filters that can improve audio quality include amplify, clicks removal, hiss reduction, normalize, and volume leveling. Fun effects you can add might include echo, pitch shift, reverb, stadium, and long repeat. Let's concentrate on the fun ones today. Let's see where these filters are, how they're applied, and what effects they may have on an audio clip. Audio filters can only be applied in the advanced edit application within Video Studio, so I'll launch that. What I first need to do is enter some audio. For that, I'll record my own, and this is very easy to do. In the timeline, click the Record Caption option and choose VoiceOver. In this case, I'll read a couple of the most recognizable lines in literature from the book Paul Clifford. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents, except at occasional intervals, when it was checked by a violent gust of wind which swept up the streets, rattling along the housetops, and fiercely agitating the scanty flame of the lamps that struggled against the darkness. Click your mouse anywhere in the timeline to stop the recording. Let's play back a few seconds of it. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents, except at occasional intervals. All right, you get the idea. Now, one of the most fun things to do is to make a voice sound like the chipmunks. The most logical way to do this would be to increase the playback speed, right? So if the options panel isn't open, double click on the audio clip in the timeline. Click playback speed. You can also access playback speed by right clicking on the clip. I can adjust the clip length to specific intervals or adjust the percentage. I'll bump it up to 200% and click OK. Now let me play it back. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents, except at occasional intervals, when it was checked by a violent gust of wind which swept up the street. Well, that didn't sound like the chipmunks. I'm just talking faster. Also, couldn't have I just grabbed the end and shortened the clip manually? Well, no, let me show you. Let me undo, grab the end, and shorten it. And hit play again. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents. It sounds the same, right? That's because all I did was remove the end of the clip. But that didn't affect the sound quality. In this case, though, if I did want to affect the playback speed, I can drag shorten the clip by holding down the shift key. That will change the playback speed. But I digress. Let me rewind and undo. The chipmunk effect actually comes from a pitch shift. So click on the audio filter icon in the options panel. And here are all my filter options, including a bunch of new ones from New Blue. The new blue ones are nice because all the options interfaces are very consistent and they give you a lot of different choices of things to set. But let's go to pitch shift. Add it. Click options. And let me lower it and see what that effect has. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents. Except... Okay, well that's just creepy. Let me crank it up and try that again. It was a dark and stormy night. The rain fell in torrents, except... Okay, well, now we're getting there. So, these are a lot of fun. You should give them a try. And as a conclusion here, I'm actually going to play this clip with a lot of different filters attached. How I do this is split the clip into several different pieces and add a different filter to each piece. So, I hope you enjoy it. It was a dark, dark storm night. The rain fell in torrents, except at occasional intervals, when it was checked by a violent gust of wind which swept up the streets, rattling along the housetops, and fiercely Well, thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.